Hi, this video is very important if you're working in a finance department, in a treasury function, giving ACCA F9 financial management exam, ACCA P4 advanced financial management, or CMA USA part two exam. So today I'm going to talk about arbitrage. Now what is arbitrage? So arbitrage is taking advantage of different interest rates in different countries or in the same country using forward rates. So let's say whether you can make gains or losses using arbitrage in the money market. Hi, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where I create videos covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hacks. So let's talk about arbitrage. So here I have a question. It says Hamza wants to make some money using arbitrage. He has the following option. He can borrow 750,000 in Pakistan rupees or 150,000 in US dollars. Spot rate as of today, uh, one USD is equal to 120 Pakistani rupees and after three months forward rate is one USD is equal to 121 Pakistani rupees. Three month interest rate over here is for Pak rupees, if you borrow in Pak rupees, the interest is 10% and in USD it is 5%. Determine arbitrage gain, if any, for Hamza. The first thing you need to see is whether the three-month forward rate is more than the spot rate. Let's have a look. Yes, three-month forward rate is 121, spot rate is 120, so it is more. Let's make a calculation here. So I'm looking at percentage increase. Uh, 120 is the forward rate, uh, 120 is the spot rate. So I divide it by 120, so that gives me a percentage increase. Once I do this, I multiply it by 12 to annualize it and divide by 3 because it's a 3 month forward rate. Finally, we will get 3.33%. Now, let's look at the interest rate differential. That's very clear if you look at this, 10 minus 5, so which is 5%. So obviously, there is a difference. So if you look at the interest rate difference, which is 5%, 10 minus 5, is not equal to the premium for forward rate. This means there is some possibility for arbitrage gain. So what Mr. Hamza is going to do? Because Mr. Hamza is working in a finance function or a treasury function, he wants to use money market to make some money. What he is going to do is, if you look at the interest rate, interest rate is lower in USD. So he will borrow 150,000 in USD. So step one, you can say, Mr. Hamza borrows 150,000 USD. Okay. Immediately he converts it on spot rate into Pak rupees. So if you convert this 150,000 into spot rate which is 120 you will get park rupees 18 million this 18 million mr hamza is going to deposit at 10 percent interest so 18 million into 10 percent for three months that will give you 450,000. So total amount available, total amount available in Park Rupees will be 18,450,000. Now this is the amount available after 3 months. Now after 3 months, if you look at the forward rate, he can convert it into US dollar. So if you convert 18,450,000 at 3 month forward rate so you divide it by 121 you will get 152,479 US dollars now please remember this amount he borrowed he borrowed 150,000 US dollars after three months, how much does he have? He has 152,479. And obviously, since he borrowed in US dollars, he has to pay 5% interest. So let's calculate 
interest on borrowing 150000 he has borrowed at 5% for 3 months so the interest he has to pay on 150000 is equal to 1875 dollars the principal amount which mr hamza borrowed was 150000 and he has to pay interest which this is interest this is the principal amount okay so this will be 151875 this is the amount he has to pay back or he has to return because he borrowed and how much does he have look at how much does he have so if i look at the arbitrage gain that is he has 152479 us dollars where he has he has to return 151875 604 dollars in 3 months time ladies and gentlemen this is the power of arbitrage but you have to be careful have a look at this initially mr hamza had the option of borrowing in pakistani rupees or us dollars spot rate was given if he converts us dollars into pakistani rupees one us dollar will be 120 pakistan rupees and after 3 months one us dollar will be 121 because the forward rate is more than the spot rate okay that mean us dollar is going on premium at the same time we have to look at the interest rate there is a difference in interest rate here If you borrow in Pak rupees, you have to pay 10 percent. If you borrow in US, you have to pay 5 percent. So what Mr. Hamza did before deciding to borrow in which currency is to look at: is there any premium? Premium. And how do you calculate premium? You minus the forward rate from the spot rate. divide by spot rate that is the new minus old upon old you get the percentage increase annualize it and divide by 3 so this is the premium you're paying for 3 months and when you look at the difference in interest rates which is 5% since interest rate differential which is 5% is not equal to the premium this means that there is some possibility of arbitrage gain now you would be thinking how mr hamza decided whether to borrow in us dollar or pak rupees have a look at this look at the interest rate If he borrows in US dollar, he has to pay just five percent. If he borrows in Pak rupees, he has to pay ten. So obviously, he will buy in US dollar because the interest rate is less. So what he did, he borrowed hundred and fifty thousand US dollars. Immediately today, which is the spot rate, converted into Pak rupees. So one US dollar is equal to hundred and twenty. So he got eighteen million Pak rupees available. Then this eighteen million, the interest rate. for pak rupees is 10% so he deposits this 18 million at 10% for 3 months which gives you an interest of 450000 so after 3 months he is left with 18 million 450000 now once he have 18 million 450000 after 3 months what is the forward rate for conversion in us dollar 121 so 18 million 450000 divided by the forward rate he converts this rupees this is pak rupees into us dollars and it becomes 152479 which means he borrowed in us dollars converted into pak rupees deposited into pakistani account got interest after 3 months interest whatever pakistani rupees is available he then converted into 3 month forward rate for us dollar and he got converted the entire 18 million 450000 into us dollar which comes to 152479 Now the question is because he borrowed 150000 US dollars he has to return since he borrowed he borrowed at 5% so what is the interest on borrowing 150000 US dollar at 5% for 3 months is 1875 and the principal amount which he borrowed was 150000 the total amount he has to return is 151875 US dollars whereas he has available 152000 so what is the arbitrage gain he has done he has 152000 he has to pay only 151 therefore he makes a gain of 604 us dollars in 3 months time now let's assume he has borrowed in 
Park rupees and converted into US dollar and done in entirely the other way around what is here. So what would have happened? So had Mr. Hamza borrowed in Pakistani rupees and not taken into consideration that the three month forward rate is more than the spot rate, this would have happened. He would have borrowed 750,000 Pakistani rupees PKR, converted this into spot rate US dollars which is 120 so he would have received $6,250 this $6,250 he would have invested at 5% for 3 months so 600 so 6250 if you invest at 5% for 3 months you will get interest of $78 so after three months, Mr. Hamza would have had 6,250 plus 78. So he would have had $6,328 available. So had he borrowed in Pakistani rupees, converted into dollar on spot rate and invested that US dollar at 5%, after three months, he would have had this much available. So now after three months, if he converts this, to pay the Park Rupee loan, uh, 6,328 if he converts 3 month forward rate, so it is 121. So PKR, this is Pakistani Rupees, 121, he will have how many Pakistani Rupees available? 765, 688 available to pay. Because he borrowed 750,000. So now look at this, how much is the interest he has to pay on this amount, 750,000 at 10% for 3 months, 18,750 plus his principal amount, which was 750,000. So this will become 768,750. He has to pay, he has to pay return 768,000 whereas he has only 765 so there would have been a loss of 768,750 minus 765,688 3062 because he has to pay 768 after 3 months but he would have only after 3 months 765 available so guys, I hope you have understood the concept of arbitrage. First thing you have to look at whether the forward rate is higher than the spot rate. Then you look at interest rate differential. See, when you look at the forward rate higher than spot rate, you find the percentage increase, annualize it, and then compare the interest rate differential with the premium. If the interest rate differential and the premium, these are not the same percentage, that means there is a possibility of arbitrage and this is how you can make some money. But clearly understand that in which currency to borrow is important. So he looked at the interest rate, borrowing in US dollars initially was more better because the interest rate is 5%. So you'll be thinking why he did not borrow at Park rupees because the interest rate is lower. And also the US dollar is selling at premium three months forward. Okay. So guys, if you have any question relating to arbitrage, do leave a comment. I really enjoy reading your comment and answering to them. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. That shows how much you value my work. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.